happy. Okay, is it today? Thursday, it's my birthday. Thursday the 7th of December. It's my birthday. I'm 36 today, officially. And already this morning, I've had to hurt the children. Um, yeah, because, oh gosh, obviously. Every time around this year, I have a little bit of a meltdown and it's not because of my birthday. It is because of just the Christmas overwhelm, I think. Let me know, does anybody else feel like that? There is so much to do. Yeah, go. There's so much to do at home and at school that just keeping on top of the washing is like more than I can manage right now. And I'm running a business and I'm doing Vlogmas. And I've got three kids and I'm just ugh, look at the same thing. Um I just don't know if I'm coming or going at the moment. I just I got to my client's house yesterday and she was like, You okay? I was like, Yeah. She's like, you sure? I was like, eh, no, but it'll be fine. So, um, yeah. I mean, it was really nice of her to ask that if I was alright. I clearly looked harassed. Um, but, yeah, so, I don't know. I just feel... This, the weekend where we put the Christmas decorations up takes over our life because we have so many decorations and it just gets so chaotic. And as you will have seen, it didn't go according to plan. Um, and so I fell behind for my washing. <laughs> Charlie's got pee today and he's got no, literally not one item of his pee kit is washed. It's in the wash now, ready for tomorrow. But um, I'm gonna bring him over here because I need to wash my hands. I've just done the bin. Um, yeah, so he was having a moan about that. But then also, I don't know if they're doing pee today because they're doing their Christmas performance for another school. So I don't know if he needs to be in uniform or what. And as far as I know, I haven't had any communication from school about it, so I've got no idea what's going on. Um, like an angel with a halo, something I don't feel like one. So yeah, so there's that. Um, the house just feels chaotic. It always feels chaotic. I've got three children. <laughs> the house constantly feels chaotic. But because it's so busy, everything's just chaotic. Um, I just need like a day to sort my life out, but I haven't got a day to sort my life out. Nobody does. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I just oh, give me a tea towel. I just said to Gaff, and and I don't, I don't mean this in any way, like badly at all. Stay at home mums, you work so hard. I've been a stay at home mum. I know how hard it is. Um, oh, there's a cat in my garden. Oh, I love him. He's such a lovely looking cat. He's like a big boy cat. Um, but I'm doing everything that a stay at home mum does. Plus, I'm running my business and I'm doing YouTube. And I am in no way blowing my own trumpet because I am failing miserably like at a lot of things, I feel like. But also I'm just like, well, how am I managing to keep my life going in some semblance where people are fed and clean and in semi-clean clothes most of the time? Um, right, in clean clothes most of the time. There are days where I have to pull uniform out of the wash basket and just give it a spray with links and send them off to school because that's how life is, I suppose, isn't it, sometimes. Um, I know I'm not the only one to have done that. But if I was just, not just, but if I was just at home, all time, all the time, it would be a lot easier. And I'm not saying it would be easy, because when I was a stay-at-home mum and just doing that, it was hard. Um, I did also have a young child who I was breastfeeding, and that makes it obviously harder. The younger they are, the more needy they are. But now that, so if I was just doing that, like if that was my sole focus, I'd be able to stand top of things a lot more easily. I'd be able to know the days and things where they needed what in what school and all that other rubbish. But because I'm doing that, plus I'm running a business, plus I'm doing it, and I have a husband to look after, because they're a lot of work too, let's face it. They are like having an extra big child. And, and whenever they need something, you just have to help them, basically. Um, so, yeah, and it's just hard. It's just, I just said to Gareth last night, I was like, if I was a stay-at-home mum, I could manage all this fairly okay. And he said, well, yeah, you did an amazing job when you were a stay-at-home mum. He said, but now you're doing all the other stuff as well, now I'm working. But yeah, it's just... Basically what I'm saying is it's really hard when you're a working mum. I'm not saying it's easy being a stay-at-home mum by any stretch of the imagination. I know I've got a lot of stay-at-home mums who watch my channel and I know stay-at-home mums, they're my friends. Um, they don't have it easy. If none of it's easy, it's all bloody hard. Um, I just think working adds a whole other dynamic to it that is extra stressful. <laughs> so yeah, but there we go, it is what it is. It won't always be this chaotic. It, like we popped in to see Gareth Stan last night and I just said, you know, it's mad at the moment. I just said, in a few weeks it'll all calm down so and she's right she's right 
so yeah anyway I don't hope I haven't I don't hope I'm not hurt anyone's feelings by saying that because that's not what I mean at all you know that I don't mean it in that way I hope um I, you know, I'm not sitting here going, oh, stay at home mum, so it's so easy. They don't. I was one. I know what it's like. I used to be, for the most part, a stay at home mum anyway, because I only worked two days a week. And I was still chasing my tail with stuff. But all I'm saying is, I do all the same stuff that I did when I was a stay at home mum, now that I'm working as well. So it's just, um, and it's not stuff that Gareth can help with, because I get a lot of people asking, why can't he do stuff? And he, he leaves really early in the morning. He can't help me with lunches and things. He doesn't. He doesn't know what these children eat half the time. Um, and I know that I'm not the only one with a husband like that either. I've spoken to people, they don't know what their, their kids eat. Um, he doesn't know what goes in their lunches and he can't really make the sandwiches the night before because they're not as nice the next day, I find. So it's just, um, he's out of the house and it's down to me because I'm the one who works part time. So I literally get up at 6 a.m. and then I'm working on the laptop or YouTube and then I'm working doing the kids and then I go off to work and I go home and I don't sit down until at least nine o'clock at night. But, you know, so he, he helps where he can, but this, you know, he doesn't know what days they have PE, etc., etc. And he helps other people. So he's got other things that he's sorting out. But anyway, so, um, yeah, you know what I mean? I hope you know what I'm saying, because I don't think any, we all work our asses off basically. We all work bloody, bloody hard. So, um, that's, I'm not saying that anyone works harder than anyone else. I'm just saying, for my life, it would be simpler if I was a stay-at-home mum. I know I could manage that a lot more easily than <laughs> having to do it all, basically. But, um, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I've got grey hair now, you know, so. It's obviously not that fine. I'm really upset about having grey hair. Um, I know that's not the be-all and end-all, and then I could colour my hair. But I don't want to colour my hair, because I like my hair colour. But I'm genuinely upset about this. I prided myself on the fact that I could got as far as I did without any grey hair. Oh, you know, my birthday with grey hair. <laughs> and I know that's no big deal either, because there are people that go grey in their 20s. But for me, that was just like, I have a lot of body insecurity. And for me, that was just the thing, you know, oh, I haven't got any grey hair yet. And I've got three children and a husband and I still haven't got any grey hair. But, um, you know, now I do. I have to find something else to pride myself on. They're ear plugs. No, they're ear plugs. They're not ear plugs. They're ear plugs. They're ear muffs. They're ear plugs. You can call them ear plugs if you want. Ear plugs. They're ear plugs. Ear plugs. Ear plugs. Ear plugs are things you put in your ears. Ear muffs are the headphone things you wear to keep your ears warm when it's cold outside. You're going to do your Christmas performance for Nonna, aren't you, this morning? Mm. I think Auntie Amy's going to watch you as well. Look, put your head straight. Oh, your pony's going to be wonky. Yeah, we don't, don't want a wonky donkey pony tail, do you? I hate You're you going to be a star again and do your dance. Yeah, and my yeah. last one finally, then I won't cry one more time. No, don't cry after Nonna and Auntie Amy leave because Auntie Amy's picking you up today, isn't she? Because I'm working a bit longer. Right, there we are. I'll get your shoes out, ready? Earplugs. Earplugs. <laughs> it's time to go to work. So, um, oh, I've just spent a few minutes with my mum and my sister, um, which is nice because they're going to watch Lily in her nativity play this morning. And um, so it's nice to have a quick chat with them before I go to work. Made all the beds. So, yeah, I'm going to go do a day at work now. So, I'll see you later. Oh, right, so <laughs> we've got everybody here. Um, it's the evening now. I'm so I look absolutely horrendous. I'm sorry. I there really do. Do you not think I look horrendous? That hasn't made no. it any better. Um, I've had a long day at work and I'm tired. And um, we've got everybody here because Amy picked up Lily from school and then I got the boys from dodgeball. And um, everyone's had showers. Pardon me. Well, the kids have all had showers. Um, but I'm going to take Amy. Amy. I'm going to take Amy. Amy. Amy and Ariana home in a minute. Um, after I've opened no. my presents and my cards. After. Last Why video. have you got the big snake down here? Because he wants to watch. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so our daddy is coming, yeah? He's right. He's here already, yeah? Okay, your daddy's here. Yep. Yeah. Open some cards. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Right, we've right. got some cards here. <gasps> is this from you guys? It's the Monroe. Claire, is it? Yeah. Blue. Blue. Mummy. No, it's not. I like it. Are you really about to open that card? He's a pet. It's not real. He's not real. Oh, I like this card. You need a poo. It looks like a pet. Mummy, with hugs for all the things you do, so lucky to have a mummy like you.
Okay. To mummy, happy birthday. Charlie, what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> With lots of love from Lily, Charlie, and Zach, and Ariana. I'm not your mummy, I'm not no. auntie. No. But you didn't get me a card. <laughs> no, I don't want one. You can make me a card. She, no, she, no, she doesn't. No, she signed my this birthday card. I'm going to get a card now. No, no, I was hoping. I was hoping that she would sign this one. Okay, she's like one of our kids. She's yeah, she's one of us. As a lovely, lovely, lovely. Yes. you're the annoying one. <laughs> this is a card from the kiddies and Ariana. I have all signed it and done a picture. I love it. Winnie the Pooh. I like Winnie the Pooh. I love Winnie the Pooh. And then. This is from my mother, I think. Yes. You've got me a card yet. No, you haven't, have you? No. I haven't got your card yet no, we, either. No, we agreed we weren't doing cards. Oh, we're not doing cards? Yeah. Okay, so that's what I don't Oh, that's a big one! Kids. Same as Auntie Claire for and Five Days. For a wonderful daughter. Of all the dreams you can no. dream of. Thank you for and happiness you can ever imagine. Dear Claire, happy oh, birthday. These are with you on your birthday. birthday. Lots of hugs. With love and hugs, yes. Mum yeah. and Mark. And Mark has no idea that he's got you that card. Oh no. <laughs> it's a nice card of fairies on it. Neither should be. Anyway. Right, shall I open my prizzies? Yeah. Oh, yay! Yeah. Can I help you? Why is there a pack of cookies in here? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. oh you put them in there for me? Oh, oh thank you. Thank you, darling. So who put the cookie packet, Charlie, in the tissue box? Mummy, not me. Not Somebody me. Somebody put an empty cookie packet Mommy, in the tissue box. Mummy, how about we start with the smaller ones? Okay, all right. Can anyway. I open one? Okay, you can all open one. If you've got socks, you can open If I've got socks, you can have you can have that one. You can open that one. Zach, do you want to open that? I'm gonna open my presents, kids. Sure. If I can. I'm quite sickness. <laughs> it's like I've got a I've got a group of slaves doing all my work for me. What did I get? Ooh, a number seven thing. Ooh, a notebook. Ooh. Probably, I need anti aging. <laughs> oh, oh, and a nice notebook. Oh, oh, a twenty twenty four diary. Nice. You got another mug. You got another mug. No, is it a mug? No, no. You've got. Oh, I want to see that. Some heart earrings. Baking paper. Oh, a cow mug. Oh, I like that. Nice. No, it looks like a mug. Oh, I got some tissue paper. He thinks it's baking paper. <laughs> it's not a baking paper, <laughs> darling. Paper. <laughs> you can have that. It looks like a mug. I've got one at home for you guys. No, you can't have any, can you? Oh, 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 oh. I'll, I'll share my. You can all eat the Terry's chocolate orange. No, no, I've got one at home for them. <gasps> yeah, I know, but there's three of them. Yeah, yeah, that right two minutes. Put your top down, darling. And I've got a diary that I can use for work. Very nice diary from my mum. And um, some earrings. And a cup of cards. And a number seven makeup beauty bowl. Did you say you really needed nice. to stop aging? Yeah, I do need to stop aging. You need to stop telling me that you think I'm 40. But you are. I'm not. He's 36. There's six. I'm not going to buy you any more pajamas at this rate. <laughs> and, and, you, and, you, and you said that silly picture looked like me. <laughs> Should we show the camera? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So this. Amy and Ariana were messing Very around on Snapchat, one. and this apparently Poor looks him. like me, according <laughs> to Ariana. <laughs> and okay. the worst thing about that is, I can see why she thinks it does. Smile. That's Auntie Amy. You need to bring it closer. Should we um, actually do a picture? No, I actually look like with a filter on. <laughs> and Ariana. <laughs> Ariana looks like you. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> and Lily's crying because she's not allowed to eat the chocolate orange yet. They haven't had any yet. Oh, that's beautiful. That is. Yeah, Lily's crying. Right. Just, just the soundtrack to my life. Right, so I'm just getting the kids some dinner on. They're having a quick dinner tonight because we're having a kebab for a takeaway. So I'm doing them with some chicken goujons and garlic bread potato waffles. Put into hoops, beans, that sort of dinner, and then each of them can have what they want out of that. Um, yes, I mean, where, where are I? Thought I had some beans, maybe I don't have beans. Oh, here we are. Have them. Beans! So, yes, that's basically what we're doing. I need to hoover because I always need to bloody hoover. Um, I've got some money as well. I think I've got about 
110 pound from like my mum and my dad and Gareth's grandparents very kindly gave us some money. Um, so with that, I'll probably buy some more underwear because I need some socks and underwear, basically. Um, and probably some makeup because I need some makeup. So yeah, that's about it. Right, kids are in bed. I need to go say goodnight to them. Um, now, if, if you aren't doing what I'm doing on your birthday, then, you know, is it really even your birthday? So this evening I have cleaned out my Hoover filter. Exciting plans. I try and help yourselves, guys. Don't be so jealous of my exciting evening. <laughs> cleaning out my hoover filter but the hoover's not sucking up properly um and i guess it's just because i'm using it every day for work so i've just noticed today that it didn't have as much power um so cleaned out the filter and uh well, ugh, honestly the amount of dust that was in there so i'm hoping that we'll, that will dry overnight and then um tomorrow it'll be all back to being a nice sucky yucky hoover so Gareth has gone to collect our dinner. We've got a nice kebab coming. And when I say we're having a kebab, I don't mean like a yucky, greasy ugh, kebab. We have like the sheesh chicken kebabs and they are so, so nice. And the salad is just amazing and it's just really, really good. And we get cheesy chips, obviously. Because, um, you know, cheesy chips are life. So I hope that you've enjoyed this little birthday vlog of mine. It's just a regular day. I've been working and stuff. So, um... Yeah, but it's been a nice evening. It was nice to have my sister and Ariana spend a lot of the evening with us. And um, I will see you in the next one. So take care, everybody. I hope you're all doing really well. And um, 